Hey, what's going on everyone? My name is Leech Barn. Welcome back to my channel everyone. In today's video, we continue where we left off in my Mortal Kombat 1 Chaos Reigns walkthrough. This is going to be part 2 of this series. Today we'll be playing through Chapter 17, Controlled Chaos. If you are new here, please be sure to give this video a like at any point you enjoy. Without further ado everyone, we'll be hopping back right into this. Are you mad? I agree. They must answer for aiding Shao's rebellion. And of course, I leave their punishment to you. But killing them will neither restore Sindel nor ease your loss. <laughs> but it will give me great pleasure. Empress, please. When Shao's rebellion ended and he was imprisoned, my advisors also urged mercy to smother the seditious fire he'd lit. But it stayed, smoldering among his followers. And when Shao escaped from his cell, it reignited. Now, my sister's armies are stretched to their limits. And as always, Earthrealm's might is at your disposal to help deal with Shao's threat. What I ask in return is that together, we try to break the cycle of violence as partners in peace. What's this? Yet another timeline. Yes. But whose? work. Thank you, Lord Liu Kang. Spare me the theatrics, Havoc. Explain. I fought against you at the Pyramid, alongside Titan Shang Tsung. He came to my timeline and sought my aid. Until then, I'd no inkling other timelines existed. Let alone that they could be made to fight. That is why you are here. To pit my timeline against yours in combat. Yours. Mine. All timelines. You cannot imagine the chaos. Can I presume the next death you seek is mine? That comes later. <sighs> For now. I only need him. We won't fail. Better to let real warriors handle this. Zero won't earn the Empress's mercy. One set. 
her mind doesn't change. We are not fighting for her mercy. We are fighting for our lives. Alright, let's go. That was a sick intro to this episode. That's what we would think was like we're playing as steps towards this episode. Man, I I'm really liking this new story mode so far. It really has a lot of action in it. Can't wait to see what else the second part of the story mode is going to have in store for us. Though I am playing as my least favorite new character from Chaos Range so far, I'm like, I'm not a big fan of set or, or, or move set in gameplay. It's a little so much weird and I really don't know her combos that well. Oh, god damn it, man. It looks like we're fought. Body in more of a those those chaos duplicate it from the pre previous walkthrough that they're in the finale. Seriously, what is that those combos, man? I am I'm not feeling Sector right now. Get the hell out of my face! You have no business here. That would be foolish and unnecessary. They saved your sisters, did they not? Time for them to finish the job. <laughs> All right, let's, let's let's see if we can actually perform a combo with Setor. Oh, there's one. All right, hold on. This did something. That's something. Please. There's a basic combination. Oh shit, we got a Shang Tsung clone. It's literally me! Shut the fuck up and sit the hell down, man. Yeah, I'm just not feeling set to him, man. Yeah, I'm just... Oh, crud. Ooh. Oh. I just got wrecked. Fight. Okay. That, that seems to be leading to a combo. I just need to figure out the other combinations. There we go. I'm currently getting wrecked. I don't even know which one to be. Oh uh, yeah, hold on. Okay. 
Right now, I'm just trying to survive. Oh, I nearly dodged that. There we go. Shit, no. Just throw for the save, now, man. Have you had enough? You are a good fighter. It is not just you and Gotti who trained from birth. My parents raised me to be Lin Kuei. My skills are their legacy. With me. built it for a more noble purpose. Whatever its intended purpose, it now serves Lord Havix. You will fight and die for his amusement. Rejoice. Embrace the chaos. Fight. Okay. Alright. Before we get started again, I'm just going to take a quick look at the basic combos so we can get an idea of how to fight with with set door because I'm a little tired of just using basic moves. Uh, let's try this. There we go. There's a basic combo. All right. There's something at least. Sit the hell down, man. Embrace chaos. I will embrace victory. Fight! Alright, we need to find something else. There we go. Put the hell down. I feel like that still leads into something. Oh, you know, you know what? I loathe chaos. Still do not like set door.
I hope you are fond of chaos. Tanya, detain her. Empress, perhaps she has earned mercy. She aided us in combat. Only because we faced a common foe. She was complicit in Mother's death. She deserves no mercy. She may not, Empress. But we will need her aid in the current crisis. We shall take the time to discuss. As you wish. Pass the time while I infuse my Kamidogu with Geras's time crystals. What are Kamidogu? Hmm, you don't know. See for yourself. They are powerful ancient relics. When used together, they can remake this timeline's reality. My genius was discerning that they could also shape the reality of other timelines. If first infused with their time crystals. <laughs> ah, he has brains to go with his brawn. Shouldn't you have captured Liu Kang? Why capture Geras? Because he is the only being who has lived in all prior timelines. Which means the time crystals within him contain the building blocks of all current timelines. Once my Kamidogu are infused with them, I will have the power to remake all timelines as I see fit. Condemning us all to anarchy. Not condemned. Elevated, perfected, as you will be once I'm finished. This new Havoc is different from ours, the one who helped Xiao's rebellion. He doesn't want freedom, he wants to burn everything down. Smashing timelines together so he can watch them fight? Our Havoc is less crazed because I recrafted his destiny when I restarted time. Meeting Titan Havoc proves it was wise I did. First that Shang Tsung, now this Havoc? Will the threats from these Titans never cease? Tell me, how do we escape this crisis? We must rescue Geras before Havoc takes from him what he needs. I will dispatch several legions. Katana Your will... Majesty, they are needed here. Shao's escape, his renewed rebellion leave Outworld vulnerable. Similarly, I cannot go, as my absence would leave the timeline vulnerable. Which is why you believe we need Sector. As Lin Kuei, she and Cyrax are trained for this type of mission. 
and they have the benefit of being with us here. I can send them immediately, under Scorpion's command. I want neither's help. I will go alone. That would be unwise. Do not doubt Cyrax's need to make amends. And do not doubt Sector's hatred of Havoc's chaos. Or her longing for Sub-Zero's safe return. Neither will betray us. Trust Sector. Are you sure? No. I am also not sure I trust you. But Liu Kang is right. We must act. You understand the terms of your release? Retrieving Giras is our priority. Rescuing Bihan is secondary. We save him only if the mission is not put at risk. That was made clear. Do not forget. Move! Liu Kang is waiting. Either of you. He scolds me like some new initiate? Calm yourself. We cannot save our timeline if we fight among ourselves. When this crisis ends, we settle our differences. Find get us in this. Jonathan Cage. Rank, Lieutenant Colonel. Serial number? Piss off. If he leads a resistance, perhaps he knows where to find Giras. And the cryomancer that Tarkatan mentioned, it must be Bihan. I concur. Ah! 
God. Welcome to the party, baby doll. What's your name? Call me Sector. I'll call you anytime you want. I love a broad that can fight. Fight. All right, let's do this. That was a that was a lot on introduction part of the story, but I will say this: when another room makes the story mode, they do not go back. They're like cooking with this this DLC. I need to watch out for that. Oh, uh, he, he just linked into his fucking fatal blow together. I will say this: the NPCs love using their fatal blows very early on. They're not gonna waste stars right away, though. There we go. Let's try throw him and then let's try I doing that. There we go. inept I like your grit you've ruined me for the girls back home less flirting more fighting we seek chaos you defend order it will be destroyed fight well, fight Oh, there we go. So that's what we need to Ow! Okay. There we go. Take them down. Anyone roast me in the comments? I am not a pro fi fighter ga game fighter. Fight. Just to get that point across, I believe I mentioned that in my my uh, actual like, part one Mortal Kombat one walkthrough. That like to avoid uh, getting roasted. Like I'm not a pro a pro fighter gamer, guys. I'm, like I'm just a casual gamer that's trying to enjoy a single player story mode. So I'm sorry if I'm not a high standard or er, er, gameplay ain't like. But I'm like, it's not me. I just want to enjoy, enjoy the game. Alright, we're just gonna finish you off, sir. that out. Lin Kuei don't die easily. What in blue blazes? Oh shit. This is some bad <laughs> Never seen as a Terran? Is that what the hell he is? 
Lord Havoc wants you captured. Your choice if it is dead or alive. Fight! Oh my god, man, that was just so hilarious. I'm like, fire, and I pulled out laughing. It, it, it made it go so I'm like, just seeing Johnny Cage fail his nut punch again against Reptile was so hilarious. Alright, uh, you're just gonna sit down, please. Well, you're not fun. Jesus Christ, man. Sit down, please. Thank you. The Terrans never impressed me. Fight! Alrighty, there we go. Way. Are you hurt? Not a scratch. Allow me to salute your tailor. That is a hell of a fine suit. Lieutenant Colonel Jonathan Cage, U.S. Army, 44th Infantry. One moment I was fighting Hitler in France, the next, I was here, fighting some asshole named Havoc. We have a Johnny Cage where we come from. Though the two of you have little in common. Six months ago, I'd have been gobsmacked by that. But now, I realize I'm... We're... A dime a dozen. Ah, this mashed up world's thing has got my brain foobar. Foobar? Lieutenant Colonel, what happened? At ease, friends. He's with me. Thank Argus you are safe. I'd be a gold star in Mama's window if it weren't for these fine people. Emperor, meet Sector, and she... Ah, I'm sorry, I never got your names. Scorpion, this is Cyrex. I am Rain. No need to use my title, as I no longer have an empire. Havoc has taken it. I assume you're among his latest victims. You do not yet seem the worse for wear. Havoc arrived recently in our timeline, kidnapping a being who is key to his plans to destroy it. We are here to retrieve him. We've been trying to take Havoc down, but we've got shit to show for it. Our attack on his citadel was a bust. A lot of folks died. Rain's wife, Tanya, got captured. She is to fight for Havoc's perverse pleasure tomorrow in his arena. To the death. The being Havoc kidnapped. I would think he is at the Citadel. It is where Havoc spends his time. Can you get us there? Sure thing. But getting in, finding your friend, it's a whole nother kettle of fish. Rain's wife is the only one with a scoop on the Citadel's layout. Then we must save her before it is too late. Your aid is welcome, but be warned. Death is more likely than success. Alrighty guys, that's gonna be the end of chapter 17. You know when we come out next time we'll be playing through chapter 18, Hell or High Water. Hope you guys enjoyed part two of this series. If you want more or walk through episodes like this, please be sure to give this video a thumbs up, comment down below, and subscribe for more weekly gaming content just like this. Hope you all have a great rest of your day, and I will see you all next time. Have a good one, guys.